Hey what's up guys, my name is Achano, and today we are going to be taking a look at my Ludum Dare 34 game. So, Ludum Dare 34 happened last weekend, for those of you who could not tune in to the live stream. Um, I streamed pretty much the entire, uh, I, I did stream the entire development of this game that I made for Ludum Dare, which is a 48 hour game programming competition in which you have 48 hours to make a game from scratch based on the theme, which gets released when the competition starts. So, this time round, um, <laughs> A few things happened. First of all, uh, there were actually two themes. So the way that this usually works is that a lot of people can kind of vote for themes, right? There's like these these rounds of theme voting that happen before the competition actually starts. And um, usually thousands of people vote for themes and they essentially either like plus one, zero or minus one a particular theme, right? So they kind of assign a score to them uh, based on how much they like the theme and then move on to the next theme. It's called kind of, well, there are different, there's just voting and then there's like theme uh, theme slaughter and all these different things happen uh, so that basically if like the theme that people hate less gets, gets chosen as the winner, right? So the highest score. So this time there was actually a tie between two themes, right? And they were actually both negative. Like they were like negative 160 or something. So no one really liked any themes, I guess. Overall, um, the majority of people just kind of felt neutral, I guess, about most themes or disliked them. Um, but there were two themes, which is the first time that's ever happened, uh, at least to my knowledge. Um, and so these two uh, themes were growth or growing, sorry. One of the themes was growing, and the other one was two button controls, right? So I thought, you know, let's kind of use both, right? Because, um, like, growing was a decent theme, but two button controls, that's like one of the themes that I like, because that's like a direct prompt for you to be like, your game has to have two button controls, and that's good because you have to work around that, right? I'm actually a big fan of kind of direct themes. So I decided to go with that. Um, with uh yeah with two button controls and uh and uh, like as well as growing okay but two button controls were kind of the base of my game and i thought you know what growing just makes me think of like plants and nature and kind of natural kind of uh processes right um and so i thought i just i wanted i pretty much immediately came up with the idea to have this plant kind of grow upwards and i thought you know what defines plant or like a, a vine even, right? More than like a bunch of curves. So I, I set out to make this kind of curve rendering engine. And um, and I actually had a, a like the, in terms of technology and whatnot, I had a, an interesting change of pace. So as you know, um, I asked you guys what you wanted me to use and uh, the winner for that was Unreal, okay? And I started off using Unreal for about an hour, I wanna say. And first of all, I'd never used Unreal before and I know that Unreal is a very difficult uh, tool to use. It's a very difficult engine to use for those of you who don't know how to use it, okay? So I was like, okay, I could use Unreal, I could learn how to use it decently, I guess, and I could make a game, but then this idea that I had, that I was really, like, this is one of the few Ludum Dares where I actually had an idea and I was like, I'm gonna make this game. I like this idea, I'm happy, I'm happy with it, it's not too complicated, I'm gonna make this game in particular. Um, and I felt so strongly about this idea and I'm like, this, this, like, Unreal just does not suit this at all. Uh, so I decided to, I was actually, I was, I was, I was live streaming of course, and I asked you guys uh, if you wanted me to, like if it was, uh, if you wanted me to switch and use something that I was comfortable with, uh, and you said yes. So basically I was, I was thinking of doing this in Java because I wanted to use software rendering and I wanted to write like my own little curve rendering engine uh, just for this. Um, and everyone said yes, like I actually did a straw poll and I think 80% of people voted for that. So I ended up switching that. Um, maybe next time I use Unreal, we'll, we'll see. But I'm always a big fan of using uh, whatever technology uh, actually suits the idea more. But anyway, so I came up with this game. It's pretty simple. You just have to get the highest score. So when you grow, your score advances. When you destroy those kind of rocks that are in your way, your score increases by a thousand. And uh, yeah, it's just like kind of an endless kind of runner, I guess. And you just try and, yeah. So the highest score I've seen so far has been, I think, 50,000 that I've actually witnessed a friend of mine at work uh, get that score. And then I think someone tweeted a score of like 60,000 to me or something. But anyway, that's that's around about the score. That, that That's a pretty good score and you won't see me get that high in, the, in this video. Um, but I didn't really try too hard. I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't sit there for an hour gathering footage for this. Um, but yeah. Uh, see if you can see if you guys can get a, uh, can get a higher score, and if you do tweet me, I will retweet it. Anyway, um, so yeah, the the game went pretty smoothly. I pretty much didn't work uh, all of Saturday, I think. 
on this game because uh, I had stuff to do and really I, I think I spent about 10 to 12 hours total on this. The music for this which I wrote which you can download there'll be a link in the description to a SoundCloud uh, like track uh, which is the music for this. Um, uh, that thing, that entire music from start to finish took me 40 minutes from even coming up. I actually came up with the idea like I was just sitting at my piano waiting for my computer to boot and uh, I came up with the melody and whatnot straight away and it was just like, it was just ve all very smooth, all very kind of fluent um, and the development of this really happened really quickly. As I said, the entire thing done in like, um, the entire game done in like 10 hours pretty much. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I thought it was a pretty good game. Uh, as you can see, it's vertical and maybe because of that I might uh, port it to mobile maybe. Uh, I don't know, let me know if you're interested in that, maybe I'll do a bit of a series of that or whatnot, probably not, but like I might actually end up releasing it as a mobile game, why not? Um, so let me know what your thoughts are, and obviously polishing up the game. Uh, but I thought it went pretty well, <laughs> um, I was pretty happy with it, and uh, yeah, I mean, not much else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed, I might do like, if you guys want me to do like a code review or whatnot, uh, leave a comment below, leave a comment below really with whatever you want to see. Link to play the game of course will be in the description of this video and that's it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.